Yep. Wait, isn't that Miura Sentinel? A washing machine. That freaking inspection hatch. Definitely don't recommend. He hit my butt so many times. <laughs> uh, how in the how am I supposed to get down from here? Companion ladder on the front. Oh. Oh. Right. The thing I used to get up here in the first place. Slipping and falling all the way down. My hands are real sweaty. I can't believe my she's worth that means she she can't know about my room gets raided from either what as for the if I Sentinel number 17 created to fight against the tripods. It's also the robot that BJ used to pilot. If B I'll just hide a crisis of his name, he's an alien. His mission. BJ. We made it back, right? This looks exactly like. It is 1985. Yeah, this looks exactly like the place Miura landed in. A robot as big as this. I can't believe it's capable of time travel. Alien technology sure doesn't disappoint. Wait, where's Miura Kun? Oh! Oh! He is already gone. So this happened in conjunction at the same time when Miura got well shifted here to 1985. That's interesting though, but why would he be how would he be able to get out without Natsuno noticing? Although I suppose the the only legitimate reasoning would be that Natsuno got knocked out during the during the shift. She did say it uh, bounce bounced her around a lot. Or either that, or maybe she was in some sort of hatch and it took a while to open it. I mean, Miura literally just ported out of the Sentinel, so eh. But how would he be avoided getting conked out though? You mean he's somewhere out in the city right now? That's not good. What if those men in black get a hold of him? They probably want to take him to Area 51. Our situation is more critical than his. Huh. Oh no. A bunch of police cars are starting to gather down there. I guess we did kind of destroy the building. Oh man, we're gonna get arrested, aren't we? We need to leave. Yeah, okay. What the heck are we gonna do about this? Not you know. Right, first things first. Let's get you in the bag. you up BJ but those men in black are still wandering around hmm? Hmm. my notebook's not in here oh is this happening after Yuki started her investigation I 
research notebook on it. Where did I put it again? I was writing in it during class today. Oh, yeah. I took it to the audiovisual room. To the audiovisual. So, this isn't the day that Yuki started investigating. But that's an interesting thing she just said. She was writing in her notebook. Crap. I totally left it there, didn't I? So, that means this is when. This is when she was noticed. Scribbling in her notebook. About. So, this should be a week before her disappearance. Or at the very least, a few days before Yuki started investigating everything. That is, if my conjecture is correct, though. I've searched for quite, but I couldn't find Miura Kun anywhere. I bet he got captured by the men in black, and it's all because of me. Is he not seeing you? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, got it. All right, Minami. Listen up. All top secret documents need to be kept extra secure from now on. We can't afford leaks. Put them somewhere safe and keep a sharp eye on them. Are you seriously giving yourself a briefing? <laughs> right. You got it, boss. Yeah, you know. I know, I know. To the gate, right? No. I've detected an unfamiliar signal. It's coming this way. What is it? Unable to identify. Estimated threat level is extremely high. Leave this area now. Oh. Who saw me? That is obviously not the Tomi Kisaragi, but but the player is probably the only one who would realize that. No. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck? What the heck indeed? That looks a lot like the gun that Fluffy gave to Megumi. Is this cloaking technology or something? You almost hit me! Man. What happens if I go near? I suppose I should have saw that coming. <laughs> so sue me. I was curious. Oh uh, yeah. Oh. What's going on? Why is you saw me? That is not Tony Kisaragi. Oh. What? So she's an imposter? Interesting. No, it's an android created in her likeness. What do you mean an android? Oh, I get it. Those evil aliens are after you. So they made a robot to track you down. Really? You already had a Terminator reference and now we actually and now you actually have terminators chasing after Natsuno. <laughs> I ran into the bathroom. This is a dead end. There's nowhere to run. Not helping. It's too late. <gasps> She's right there. What do we do? I guess hide in the stalls? I've gotta hide. Well, well. 
don't make me use force. Just do as I say and come out quietly. Someone else is here. What a surprise. How'd you find me here? Whoop. I thought number 17 was gone, but its signal led me here. Hmm. Now that I found 426, I can't just walk away. Whatever you have planned, I won't let you go through with it. You know Ida was full of crap, don't you? And you still have something against me? Many people fell victim to you. That much is still true. That's why I have to destroy you here and now. Oh, really? You're awfully dramatic for a machine. What? And I'm awfully strong, too. A machine? Well, his body really is falling apart. I can barely hold my gun straight. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever see this type of violence. I expected it, knowing who you were. I guess even your heart is just a machine. You're a monster yourself. No respect for me. Whatever makes it all easier. Not gonna lie, everything that transpired there sounded incredibly painful. It seems quiet now. Oh, this explains what happened to the girl's bathroom. <sighs> Holy crap! What a mess! What? This explains what happened to the girl's bathroom. Wait, so if I'm going to go by, go by logic, they tussled, one of them got thrown into this stall door and somehow it didn't break, and then they, and then they resume fighting somewhere around here before one of them got crashed right through this stall, and so one uh, and the one who was uh, not knocked down took advantage and then rammed the thing's head into the toilet bowl before throwing them over here into the wall. Then I don't know from the looks of it, slammed it against against the floor and this part of the wall and then started clawing away at the skin before shoving them back into the wall. Sentinel number 17 created to fight. It's also the rope. It's even. Whoa. It really is a robot. It looks just like Usami. Dang. What are you doing here, Tamao-san? And this. Did you do all this? Stay back. Hey, don't jump out like that. She's also an android. Created in Tamao Karabe's image. She's a robot too? I'm the one who calls her here. What? What? However, as of a few moments ago, I can no longer identify her. Okay, what the actual... What the actual fuck? Stay back, <sighs> I didn't expect you to be here too, Miura kun Miura. What? What do you mean, Miura? I see. You switched bodies. Rapunzel. Hmm. What does she mean, Miura kun? BJ, say something. Don't worry, he's not 
got broken. What did you do to BJ? Why did you come for him? Forgive me. We seem to have a misunderstanding. I've come for you, Natsuno Minami. Yep. What? Those monsters, the ones that destroyed the city, they have a new commander, and it's you. So the key is on Natsuno this time. So, starting now, I'll be the one giving you orders. Hey. Alright, so it is the same gun that Fluffy gave to Megumi. Because its side effects were temporarily removing... No, not temporarily. Were removing memories of the past few... Uh, I'm not sure how long. Seconds? Minutes? Essentially, as long as the event happened very recently, you'll pretty much forget all about it. I'm not sure. That's right. I came to get this. And then, I feel like I saw who saw me. Uh, man, I can't really remember what happened here. So I'm guessing it only has a mind wipe, mind wipe uh, limit of a few minutes. Considering she still has a vague recollection of meeting the Osami android, just not what happened after seeing her. Oh! Oh, nice continuity! Kisaragi's glasses that Yuki found in her chapters. Ow, my cheek kind of stings. So I'm guessing her cold is on her cheek then. Right, let's continue right. that one. Huh? Tamausan? I can't believe my she's work. A small puncture on my cheek. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? Surprisingly, she's actually spot on this time. What if they implanted something in me? Surprisingly, she really is 100% accurate this time. <laughs> I'm probably overthinking it. Uh, man, that is some... There is some expected irony right there. <laughs> the only time where she is 100% correct is the only time she thinks she's wrong. <laughs> Wait. How are you here, Tamao-san? This place isn't ideal. I'd be found far too soon. Hmm. Maybe Tamao-san was abducted by a UFO. Wonder what they did to her. <sighs> Who is this? Does she want to join the team? Oh, um, well... Wait, don't tell me. You turned in your sign-up form but never came, huh? It's Iba-san, right? Erika Iba? Uh. So, Iba-san, right next to Minami-san in Class 1C. Uh, yeah, right. Have you recovered from your illness? Well, actually, she... Not entirely. So can't join yet. Huh? Oh, okay. Oh, well, that's too bad. I hope you get well soon. Maybe she just looks like Tamao-san. Could there really have been someone like this just next door? Huh. Erika... Iba... Class 1D... Next door. Oh, that explains things now. No one gave no one gave her the alibi nor the identity. She just so happened to she just so happened to hear it from the manager and decided to use it as her cover story. Hmm. 
Interesting. But that explains why she decided to use an existing person's identity then. Hmm. So that most likely means that she has no connection with the SIU. Nor with this Ida person who I still am assuming to be Goto's future self or adult version or whatever. She's pretty weird. Yeah. Right. I should go tell the coach. Hmm. I wonder if BJ was pretending. At least for now. I told Miyurakun he should stay at Jirokun's house. After all, I'm the one who dragged him into this. I need to take responsibility. I mean, not in a weird way. You totally want to do him. Also, what did she mean? She called BJ Miura. And considering it also has the memories of Ai Sekigahara. Does that mean that I, the reason why I looks so similar to Miura is because he's an alternate dimension self of Miura? Is BJ actually Miura programming his memories into an AI so that he could help set things right? Because apparently, if, if my conjuncture is correct, the story states that the regenerating nano machine and robots comes from 2177 where they were introduced and apparently a year later in 21 no not 2177 excuse me about that 2187 and apparently in 2188 they already completely destroyed most of humanity wait now that i think about it considering how resource harvest heavy each one is but no the sh memory of Shinonomi states that each one, each heavy machine meant for resource and for building and stuff, that implies that the kaiju are those machines that she sabotaged to, well, to trap everyone in an eternal time loop. BJ, did she find you? She? The girl that was just here, I was on. Nobody was here. Let's go to the gate. I didn't see. Maybe we can sneak out. I'm almost done with practice. Sound good? Now to know. The gate. Let's see. She started skipping out on her practice. When she first disappeared, is this the moment where she disappeared? You gotta stay in there. in danger. There isn't a second to spare. Yeah, whatever. What? What kind of reaction is that? What is it now? I thought you had no seconds to spare. Yeah, I just don't worry about it. It's for something important, right? Thank you. Leave the future of Earth to me. Okay. Okay. Grave responsibility rests on my shoulders. You don't know the half of it. It isn't just the future of the planet Earth. It's the future of humanity and pretty much possibly the universe itself. What you carry on your shoulders is way heavier than if you BJ believe. BJ is about to be seen by someone. I'll just hide in the crisis... His name, he's an his mission. I'm still wondering about that. Why did that android Tamao san code BJ Miura? Uh, 
Okay, we're here. Where should we look this time? Hmm. Where was Sector Five again? It was nineteen something. Nineteen forty five. We found a sentinel there, but travel to Sector Five, but there is no signal. Okay. Sector 2 looks... Sector 2 was our first destination. Yeah, but we didn't get to look around much. Eh. Let's go there again and do a proper search. Access code. Designating sector. Alright, to 26 to 5. Tripods, but we shouldn't let our guard down. Okay, how should we do this? Not enough. You wait here. Huh? You're going by yourself? Fires continue to burn on the surface. It's too dangerous. Time required to search the path is 27 minutes. Oh, come on! We come all the way out here and you just leave me all alone? Well, can't argue against BJ's logic. It's mostly destroyed and on fire. It's not often I get to talk. A human travel. a human would be severely limited in what they could possibly search here. Well, not without risk of getting collapsed and killed by random debris. I mean look at that. I'm surprised I'm surprised this bridge is still standing at all. Oh wait, I mean highway. This doesn't look like a bridge. It looks like a highway. Or a freeway, I suppose. Anyway. It's it's a miracle it's still standing at all considering everything that's happened around it. I certainly won't waste it waiting. I'll make it quick. Just gonna peek around a bit. That what we got light. here? I saw something light up. I know, right? Ah. Hmm. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Is that a sentinel? <laughs> Look who found it first. That's what you get for leaving me behind. Sentinel created to, it's also the it's e something doesn't sit right with this. <laughs> BJ! Huh? No. What happened to BJ? What happened to you? BJ. Talk to me. What happened? He's been broken to pieces. That's right. His brain. As long as his brain's okay, I'm sure I can save him. Oh, where is it? Is this it? This light bulb thing. Holy shit! Turns out she was correct all along! It's not an alien, but it's a human! Using a robot as a medium of transport? this holy shit <laughs> I regret doubting her then she was partially correct the only part she's being wrong on in everything is the alien part <laughs> and again could you consider people from a different dimension as aliens even if they are earthlings like they're not native to this timeline or your world or your world at all so by technical definition they are aliens man that's a headache to think about there's some letters on this oh no and i'm pondering on its brain 
That totally was not on purpose, talking about headaches and ha and literally ha having a brain in a jar on hand. Hmm. A sentence I never thought I'd ever say in my life. Shikishima. Shikishima Robotics? Wait, as in the appliance company? I'm such an idiot. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot made in Japan. PJ's not an alien. He's a robot. Secret agent and silent they call... Is the music getting that ominous? Sound. <gasps> what? Not you know. I have been looking for you. Oh no! It's the time loop. That's a BJ from a different, from a different timeline, or maybe even this BJ from the future in the future that has yet to pass. But wait, what I saw earlier, it was a different robot? You found a Sentinel, Sentinel number 8, a remote control type. This is not Sentinel number 17. <sighs> Were you made by Shikishima Robotics? You're just a robot made in Japan. You're no alien. Isn't that right? Yeah, I bet this is another one of Shikishima's. Uh, does that mean the tripods too? That's a really good conclusion to come to. Four-legged autonomous cranes from Shikishima Industries. Ah, that starts to explain more. Hi, Quad 150B. No way. They're heavy machinery robots for the development of Mars. <laughs> ah, there's a nice little nod to to the 1900s. It was a really popular thing back then, the desire to terraform Mars in case in case Earth ever went extinct. I'm pretty sure it's still quite popular now and is actually being is actually being taken seriously considering all the all the things that hap are happening to the earth right now disasters overpopulation not enough not enough natural resources to go to go around though i always wondered i know neptune is too far for space travel right now but i wonder why no one ever considered trying neptune if i recall from my science lessons neptune is actually the planet closest in resemblance to Earth in terms of a inhabitable planet. Though I can I can see the problem with that is the feasibility of reaching there without dying horribly or taking too long is pretty slim unless we actually manage to develop space travel to such a point that we can travel through the stars Star Trek style at light speed. But why? Why are robots meant for Mars invading Earth? This place is not Earth. Not Earth? It is a speculation. A what? The lack of proof makes it only a possibility. Okay, but... What? The basis for my speculation is this log. Huh? Alright, go on. Is that Ninji? There are 117 planets under consideration for the project. Of those, the top prospect is a planetary system 12 light years away. I don't think this is going to work. Aren't you the professor's daughter? Yes, I'm helping with the layout. For the migration ship? It looks quite small. In the harsh environment of space, it is not possible to sustain life for extended periods of time. The ship will be carrying only our DNA. Oh, another nice little nod. In the final phase of the project, humanity will be restarted. 
So we're creating aliens. How large of a population are you estimating? We're planning for six million. And you really expect me to approve of this project? If you just listen to my mother's explanation... It is not necessary. This endeavor is nothing but self-satisfying. It is impractical. Now that my father has passed away, I am the one in charge. The research will be disposed of and the funds suspended. You can't! Oh god, the son, please! So I am correct. That is an adult Nenji Ogata. Or a different alternate version of him. This is really confusing, I'm not gonna lie. This was recorded in 2188 with Natsuo Minami's ID. A communication log between Natsuo Minami and Shikishima's top executive, Nenji Ogata. Ogata-kun? After this log, the plan was implemented. But 2188 is in the future. We are further into the future than when the log took place. Natsuno, do you understand? Wait, what do you mean further into the future? Natsuno comes from 1985. And this, as I recall, is 2064. What do you mean you and Natsuno came from further in the future? Unless you just mean yourself, then I would believe that, BJ. It is possible. You are the alien they created. Ah. I see. It's going to be the BCAD thing, isn't it? By 2188, they mean... They mean on a calendar that pre that predates the calendar they're using right now. Uh. That is honestly interesting. Also very believable. Let's see, unlock condition, destruction, second area, Shibugaki City, wave five cleared. Oh no. I need more meta chips. Alright, so Miura is going to be locked until I finish the second area. I still need three more stories for Oh that was the exterminator event. Okay. Alright. Alright, I'll call this episode for now because I need to determine who I want to do next.